Hello everyone and welcome back to Sekiro. Well, since the last episode, and let me tell you about these last few episodes, it, they've been rough. I feel like I've hit the wall with the game where the difficulty really becomes apparent. I've done something, and this something I saw on one of uh, Vati's videos. Uh, he gave like tips on kind of getting started with Sekiro and all that, and one of the things that he suggested is that you should do some farming in the early areas and the reason for that is that practicing against the weaker enemies I'm not doing such a good job right now really helps in kind of breaking the you know the old souls habits yeah, this might not be the best demonstration because this is a absolute gangbang but I've been doing that uh, for quite a while today. Just kind of, you know, going back through the old areas and practicing the combat system. And again, this is not the best demonstration, but I think overall it helped. I figured out quite a few things and hopefully things are going to go a little bit smoother. Again, this area is special because, well, uh, the enemies just rush you here, and fighting multiple enemies in this game is difficult. But yeah, I think I figured out how Mikiri counters work. Uh, the easiest way to do them, I found, is to push forward and circle. It doesn't seem to matter which direction you're pushing uh, with circle. It works... Oh, hello there. <laughs> Alright. It seems to work either way. So yeah, there's that. And also, I've been kind of breaking the bad habit of always trying to dodge, you know. Because that's one of the things that was really annoying. And see, this is it. Like, as it turns out, the Mikiri counter timing window is extremely forgiving. And I didn't do such a good job there. But, yeah, it is extremely forgiving. Oh, that's a... Never mind. Oh, I got both of them on me? Okay. It's time to pull out. Time to pull out early and do a reset. That's also one of the things that he suggested in the video. And they were really good. Um, spoiler free, too, so... You know, I try to avoid spoilers still for this game. Is that deaths, no matter which type of deaths you get, uh, the dragon rot can spread. So, because disengaging is fairly easy in this game, uh, the best way to handle kind of deaths and as well as to avoid dragon rot is to quickly like resurrect and then disengage. Because it really, really does help. I wonder if you can... So these fools... Yeah, okay. I thought I could be, like, smart and... Oh, shit. I was smart. I was able to get him not to aggro the other enemies, but this guy warns everyone anyways. Okay, let's see if they come one by one. Okay, that's a... But see, I've been like really working on breaking the habit of always trying to dodge, which I was doing constantly. I'm not going to say I've kind of mastered the combat system, because obviously I have not. That takes a long time, but I feel like I'm doing a little bit better than before. Oh shit. Yeah, he fires off his arrows quickly. This fool is like him backstab. I'm, I really want to get through these two 
spear idiots. And then if I do and there's something worth worthwhile after them, I think I'm going to go back to the bull. People have been giving me tips on the bull as well, which I appreciate. Because of the farming, quote-unquote farming, uh, more like practicing, I would say, uh, I've also racked up quite a few skill points, so I will check out what I can get. So this guy has a pattern. Yeah. See, yeah, again, like, the timing window is, like, extremely forgiving for Mikiri counters. Yeah. Also, people said that I should get into the habit of using sugars. Oh, yeah, that's a jump? Yeah, okay. It's all good. See, even there, like... I was fucking hella shit up. Yeah. Because that's the thing, like, the parrying window is actually fairly lenient in terms of bulging coin purse. Bulging? Seriously? It's gonna bulge out of our pants. Whoa, I didn't read what that was. Amiibo Balloon of Souls. Okay. Secret shit? Secret shit? Man, I'm really glad I got through that. Just, like, if you watched me play any Souls game before, which most of you have, you know that I'm kind of stubborn and I want to get through stuff. Yeah, that's... I like that. Uh, we'll acquire more resurrective power for a time. Okay. That's... That's pretty good. Oh, I've... Yep. Higher chance of obtaining items, yeah. I cannot believe it. I forgot that you can crouch in this game. Well, no, I didn't forget, you know. It's just the habit, you know, the habit. Speaking of habits, let's get back to that motherfucking bull. People say he's tough, and I'm glad that I wasn't the only one who kind of felt that way. That's the thing, like, it's actually a clever thing that they did by changing the combat system to this way. Because they really punish you for being accustomed to Souls games. Because, you know, that's the thing about Souls games, that if you've played one, uh, you basically had an unfair advantage. It's like fighting games, you know, uh, you for of you having basically a head start over everyone else. But here they actually punish you if you, you know, mess around like that. Okay, let's check our skills. What do we have? Breath of Life. Recovers vitality upon performing successful. This is what I, I want. I really want this. That takes six skills. Yeah. I heard that there was an ability like this. And I really wanted that. We have 118 spirit emblems. So we don't need that. Mm, the thing is, we're going back to the castle gate anyways. And there's a merchant there. So I will check what we can do there. Well, let's go back and see if we can't upgrade our uh, Shinobi prosthetic. So yeah, I'm really, I really think this farming was helpful and I will do more of it. Kind of go back to the tougher areas as well. Just again, just training myself out of the old habits. It's going to be really strange going back to Souls game after this game. You have anything interesting to say? No, I don't have any. Well, oh yeah, you know what? I've never checked what the hell is behind this place. Oh, there's treasure. Light coin purse. That's cool. I thought maybe some secret shit was going to be there, but... Hey, I don't mind. I don't mind too much. What up? Upgrade prosthetic tool. We have 
Spring loaded firecracker. We have that though, don't we? So like what's the difference between spring loaded and Hmm. Tier three information now unlocked. Huh, cool. Oh, okay. I should always look at the other screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks for the help. This guy is so nice. Fucking Hephaestus from God of War. He really just reminds me of him. Hephaestus from God of War 3. Which is funny because I have never even played God of War 3. Did I just say God of Wars? That's the multiplayer variation. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's funny that they let you keep the old versions as well. If you don't want the spring loaded. Alright. Die lapidate. No, the castle gate. Of course, what I was talking about earlier, you know, that it's always worth resurrecting and disengaging, doesn't apply to bosses, of course. With bosses, it's really up to you. So any true death, anytime you see the death sign, dragon rot spreads, no matter, no matter what you do. But it doesn't seem that difficult to cure because I still have a spare dragon tear or whatever it's called. So I don't know if it's actually as much a nuisance. Not heard people like really complain about the mechanic that it really hinders you or anything like that. So I don't know. Yeah, this is who I wanted to visit. Okay, dragon blood droplet. I have, I have none. Well, now I'll have a backup. Antidote powder, fistful of ash. Go he sells a gourd. Hell, fucking yeah! I'd be an idiot not to buy a gourd seed. May the rest depart. May the departed rest in peace. Not may the rest depart in peace. Although that's what I'm doing. Departing the rest. Now we gotta go back again. God damn it. Sorry, boys, that this is turning out to be... Holy shit. <laughs> just yeeted that piece of wood. Okay, now we gotta go back. See if I would known this. Luckily, load times are not bad. I always think about, you know, sometimes the idea pops into my head of getting a PS4 Pro. But I'm always like, is it actually... I It doesn't seem to make that much of a difference that it's worth the price, you know. Especially, I've checked how much they would give if I traded in this PS4. This one, they probably wouldn't even trade in because this one has the American, um, you know, the plug. Because I, I bought it in the US. So yeah, this is, that would not fly, I think, here. And you know, even now the PS4 Pros are kinda expensive. So I'm okay, I'm okay with vanilla. Vault over posture broken. See, this, all these skills sound good, but there's getting health from uh, blows, critical blows. I feel like the noob that I am, this would really help. Okay. Well, let's get a move on. Try this bull again. Apparently, in general, the shinobi firecracker is really good against uh, kind of monster type enemies. Anything that's non-human really gets fucked up by the firecracker. This, this is a true 50-50. This fucking <laughs> castle gate. Sometimes I seem to be able to jump up really easily. Other times this happens. There we go. I thought we'd have to like solid snake around. A big ogre motherfucker. Those things look so creepy. I was watching back while I was editing my footage. And they have like this weird... 
like human aspect to them but yeah they look so strange i don't fuck with them they gotta go they gots to go and they do they're not that difficult to kill all right stab this little bitch i say that every single time but it's so satisfying Just to stab them bitches Apparently you can deflect this guy as well. Wonder what happened. That didn't do shit. Oh, it freaks out. Thank you, camera, for cooperating with me. Okay, so if he's attacking, he straight up doesn't give a fuck about... Yeah. Charge, okay. So take some chip damage. Doesn't help that I'm missing half my firecrackers. Yeah. Again, if he's attacking, he straight up don't give a fuck. Do it. Oh shit. What the? Dead? Oh, because I stunned him. Holy shit. Yeah, put him put him down. Put him out of his misery. That was a dick thing to do to this bull. Okay. I don't know. Okay, more medicine. I'm liking the sound of all of that. I don't know what helped. The fact that I, you know, wasn't being an idiot. And kind of practiced playing this game. Or the fact that I used the firecracker. Either way, anyone who left that tip, thank you. Now I know that anytime we have an animal-ish enemy, you know, bring the firecracker out. Hello. Cinematic angle. Sempu Temple, no. Holy shit, she's dramatic. Overly dramatic, I would say. There's shit down there. Alright. It's nice to know you. Let me just... Let the boy rest up. And pray, or whatever. Yeah, he does pray. Okay. Before we go up there... Um, you know, let me check out the surroundings. While you're praying, let me just, you know, Spider-Man around like an idiot. Does this? No, no, it's not a... thought it was a shortcut so that I don't have to, like, leap over, but hey, ain't such a problem in this game. There's gonna be, yeah. There's gonna be some big armored thing here. Yeah, that's great. Just make him impervious to everything, like the mountain. <clears throat> Aha. 
gotcha. Got you, got you. The eavesdropping is really helpful, actually. Oh man, so many places to go. I like that about this game, that it's open. One of the key things I felt that was missing from Dark Souls 3. It was so linear. Alright, boys. I do apologize, but you're gonna have to. Gatehouse key. Key to a samurai gatehouse located in the Ashina Reservoir, not far from the well the wolf was kept in. Oh. Because we're almost... This, this does seem... Yeah, 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 we were here, weren't we? Yeah, we kind of edged along here, so to speak. I remember this place. Now, it all be making sense. Yeah, so we're backtracking to where we were. He's got some doggos with him. Which is okay. The doggos are not such a problem in this game. As we've clearly established. Yeah, we were... <clears throat> Before I lose my voice, uh, we were kind of edging along here. Yeah, let's just let's just check out what is here, Ashina Reservoir. Yeah. It's much easier to move around, of course, now that we got all this fancy shit. Couldn't swing on the trees before, that's for sure. Yeah, just never mind that I'm like basically conducting a ritual about two meters away from you. Yeah, just ignore that. Yeah, that's where we were coming through. I think. Okay. Yeah, the dog was noticed. What a bitch. Now I know how to fight. You see that? You see that? Now we're cracking. Are we cracking or fire cracking? Okay, there's damn bitches there. Yeah, okay. Taking this route. Something noticed me, but no. I don't think... Oh, you died that easily. The little pan lady. Is that even a lady? Whatever it is, we don't want it calling enemies. Yeah, that's where we gotta go. Just ignore us. Never mind, never mind. Okay, nothing is ignoring us at this point, but hey, enemies tend to be pretty stupid in this game, as in they lose track of you easily. Oh, those things look so weird. I almost want to go down there and show you from close up. And I got a sneeze. <coughs> That's going to sound wonderful on the mic. If that bursts your eardrums, I apologize. Oh, hello. That really is not far from where we were. Watch this be a mimic. I don't think we have mimics in this game, though. Gyobu's broken horn. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a prosthetic tool. Or knew. I had a feeling. Hello. I don't think so. Let me take care of your buddy first. Whoa. See, I was just gonna say, let me just check how much HP I get back. 
from a successful counter is actually quite a bit. More than I was expecting. Oh, you big fucker. You are screwed. These things are the creepiest. I don't want nothing to do with these things. So this one... If all goes correctly... Like he has a nice little dress on. The other one was just like straight up ass out. No shame about it. Which is... Not how you want to see any of these things. Ever. There's going to be some fucking... Bastard here. I already know. Yeah, he's right there. That's going to be... I knew it. I knew there was going to be an asshole here. A spear user too. You know how we feel about spear users. You got a Makiri count after them fools. But the Makiri counter somehow still stunned me. Whoa. Oh, that's a jump. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it doesn't work on him for some reason. This might be a problem. How am I gonna... Oh, I really tried jumping there. Oh, hello, friend. Yeah. Dick move, guys. Dick move. Yeah, we're peacing out. Hey, we're a shinobi. Like, hit and run tactics are part of the plan. Ain't no shame in any of this. Hmm. Kind of wanna. Kind of wanna retry that, though. Although I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. I already made pro more progress here than the last like four episodes. Oh, what the hell? Sorry, doggos, you're at a disadvantage in this game. Give me my HP back. Cool. As I was saying, let's give this another try. But now I'm wise to where everyone is. So I'll be even stealthier. Sorry, bruh. Even though he noticed me straight up, but hey. It's a minor hitch in the plan, that's it. This spear dude is gonna be a problem, I can already tell. Cause I Mikiri counter him and he still fucking stuns me or something. So it's like it doesn't work on him. So, oh yeah, what I'll do is we'll get the drop on him. That's what I was trying to figure out. If there's any way to sneak up, but there is of course, we took that same route. This big ogre thing. See, the last time I managed to kill them easily because they kind of followed me a little bit. So they were out of sync from their normal pattern. Although that might not be... Oh, 
Are you fucking shitting me? Oh, he's best. Oh, this is the baseball player. This one is actually fairly easy to kill. Yeah. That's brutal. I love the finishers in this game. Okay. What I don't love is fighting more than one enemy at the same time. Let's use the mobility or lack thereof. Pretty funny. That was some pro blocking. Yeah, I tried to. That was my attempt at repositioning, but. Freak out, they all do. Nice soup. Should get some HP back. I did not. Is it only like Occasional or does it only work on like backstabs and shit? Like when you take the enemy by surprise. Oh, I think it might do. Yeah, we we remember this place. We remember it. It's much nicer during the day. Holy shit. I compare this to a fucking Dark Souls 1 mountains after Whatchamacallit. After getting out of the asylum. Man. They've come a long way. When you think about it. Like Souls at this point. Is a triple A. Genre. That, that was a way better start. Or a way worse start, I don't know. Gonna have to heal again, because that didn't do shit. That's a jaw. Oh. That's one of the things, like... Distinguishing between... Holy fuck. This guy might be... Beyond my capabilities, currently. Unless... I can be a little trickster and... Backstab him again, somehow. I don't know how I'm ever gonna lose track of him. I don't think you can lose track of these mini bosses. Or maybe yes. You gotta represent the shinobi lifestyle. Oh. Thought he was gonna turn around. Oh, but he gets his shit back. Oh, god damn it. You know what? Screw this guy. I can check what's in that little temple without killing him, I think. If the little side path is still open that we took the last time around. Because goddamn. It doesn't look like they closed it. It's all good, kid. 
No, no, people were mad at me that I thought he was a girl. I mean, are you serious? Just, I mean, how the fuck am I supposed to know? Like, I can't be the only one who have made that mistake, right? I can't be the only one. But hey, now I know. Now we're wiser. Oh shit, there must be a way out there. This asshole with the spear is ruining the whole party. Let me tell you. Yeah, just never mind. There must be a way. To, like grapple or something. Yeah, I really don't wanna... Scrap of iron. I don't know, I, I don't think I can take him. I usually have a pretty good idea of who I can take and who I cannot. And this dude doesn't look like someone I could take so far. Maybe when I'm a little bit stronger. I almost dropped down. That, that would have been real stupid. So yeah, maybe when I have a, four, a little bit more like HP or prayer beads or attack power or whatever. Let me just head back. I'm just like strap tearing through shit. But hey, even still, I would say this is a fairly successful episode of Sekiro. I actually made some meaningful progress. I actually beat a boss. So, you know, that's, those are achievements. Don't diss me. Those are, in this game at least. Cause let me tell you, this game ain't easy. Probably guy, you guys know fairly well. If you're playing along, not even if you're just playing along, if you played it. Some people have let me know that they already finished the game, which is crazy. Some people were finished, I think this game came out on Friday, right? And I was streaming on Saturday and some people were already done with the game. I'm like, how the fuck is that even possible? Oh yeah, I remember you. Just eat shit. Look, no motherfucker. Heavy coin purse, scrap of iron. Got all the good stuff, you know. Oh, hello. Poison. You know how I feel about poison. I dislike it. It looks like this leads to exactly the same place. Yeah, it do. All that for a coin purse? Seriously? Oh, there's no way up from here. And that's all good. Wait a second. There's more treasure. And this is where we lost our arm. That place is still locked. Wow. He's really blind. You know what these things remind me of? I think it was in Harry Potter, like one of the first ones, where they pull out that Mandragora or whatever. That's what these things look like. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and head back to safety. One of the things I also forgot, and Vati's video was talking about, is that you basically have an unlimited use homeward bone straight from the start so you know like use it because it's actually fairly good for like uh, restocking your heels and all that yeah I'm going back here and I think after that we're gonna start wrapping up if you see this episode up uh, it's gonna be up at around like six I will be streaming at eight uh, the game of choice is more on combat 11 which is holy shit that game is good i'm trying to get in as much time as i as i can to get an advantage on people i'm really you know what i'll talk about it more on stream but i'm really enjoying scorpion it's probably the most i've ever enjoyed playing scorpion in an mk game he's super fun 
So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Sekiro. And I hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye.